Hey entertainers, Mr. Entertainment here um, with a very different way this vlog started. Um, this was a very different vlog than anyone that I've ever done, um, which it would have the usual introduction and then check-ins here and there of wherever I am at uh, or whichever event I'm covering. Um, this one, I wanted to just dive right into it uh, to show you highlights of a community and a city coming together as one a year later of the Pulse nightclub tragedy um, on Orlando United Day, um, which I hope will be a yearly thing. Um, and 10,000 people had came out to the Orlando Love Remember Our Angels Remembrance Ceremony um, at Lake Eola Park at the Walt Disney Amphitheater. Um, despite light drizzling, light rain, um, still 10,000 people, spectators showed up to pay their respects um, and remember the Angels of Pulse. Uh, I had stayed at the ceremony um, not as long as I would want to, um, just due to the fact of the spot that I had um, given um, uh, a reason um, of just so many people being there, of course, um, and because I had gotten off work at 5, um, but had not gotten there um, until an hour um, after it was supposed to start, but because of the rain, they pushed it back uh, to allow people to be on time, um, as well as uh, waiting for the rain to clear up. Um, another reason why um, I had left early is because uh, we wanted to leave ourselves um, some time, the uh, group that I was with, um, to revisit Pulse. Um, for several of them, I believe it was their first time at Pulse um, since the horrific events occurred on June 12, 2016, Sunday night, early morning hours, and it was my second time at Pulse uh, revisiting after I had visited it last year, um, several nights or a few nights after it had happened, uh, when it was still under federal investigation, and I remember distinctly that night when I was with one of my best friends, Labrado, that you haven't seen in a while on this channel. Uh, when we walked around the barricade, because of course the street was barricaded off, barricaded, um, there was no wind in the forecast, it was just a very calm, somewhat chilly night, uh, and you could feel a light breeze, uh, and those were the spirits definitely in the air, so it was very, it was very eerie at the time, uh, and... Yeah, of course, it freaked me out as, any, as anybody else would have freaked out. Uh, and then after that, we went up the road to Orlando Regional Medical Center, and I went down the row of the memorial that they had set up there as well of all the 49 victims. Fast forward to a year later to today, on Orlando United Day, a day of kindness and love, we had revisited Pulse, and as you saw in the video, uh, the memorial set up outside of Pulse um, that is forever building, um, and growing, I should say, um, and the place that Pulse's legacy and all the fallen victims um, will be cemented. Um, a permanent memorial is being planned to go in place of um, polls. Um, I was able to keep my emotions in check, um, surprisingly, uh, going down the uh, chain link fences, uh, decked and filled um, with um, memories and gifts left by friends and family of the victims. And I had learned that we were actually going to go beyond that fence into Pulse. Um, technically not inside the building, of course, but just outside the club, um, which I had thought 
that was, and to my knowledge, I could be wrong, but I believe this was the first time that the general public was allowed beyond the chain link fence of Pulse. Um, they had a ceremony just outside the venue. Uh, it was a nice ceremony. <clears throat> the projections, as you saw on the side of the building, uh, speak volume. Um, and as we were inside, I guess it was very limited room. Uh, it was uh, almost jam-packed, almost shoulder to shoulder. Uh, and there were hundreds of people outside just watching on the inside of what was going on. So, you know, of course the spotlight as we knew um, was on Pulse tonight, not for all the wrong reasons like it was a year ago, um, but for the right reasons. Um, if people never heard about Pulse, last year they found out about Pulse, and now the whole world knows about Pulse, that this place that unified a community of whatever gender or race accepted everyone and was a place of happiness for many and will forever will be despite it possibly never being reopened again uh, for, for good or bad reason um, however you want to look at it um, that's a, a discussion or a debate for another time. Um, today was about remembering those no longer with us. Um, and you could feel the love all around the city, even on the way uh, to Lake Eola and once entering downtown Orlando. Um, this was a really an amazing, emotionally moving event. Um, that I hope they do every year, and I'm pretty sure they will. So I commend Mayor Buddy Dyer of Orlando, uh, Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs, Orange County Commissioner uh, Patty Sheehan, um, and also the Orlando police officers and uh, Orange County sheriffs um, that were there that had uh, kept us safe. Um, and it was just, a, it's always a beautiful thing to see everyone come together unified of no matter who you are and what you are or what you look like. Um, we all bleed red um, and we all have one pulse um, and we are the human race. There's no such thing as um, what color you are. I mean, this, this rainbow flag um, not only represents the gay community, but also represents everyone. Uh, it is a flag of equality. Um, and so I was with Joe Michael, um, and Joe Michael is uh, driving right now. I'm not sure if he would want to say a few words or would want the light shine in his eyes of uh, his thoughts of uh, tonight. Um, but would you like to say something? Yeah, I would. Okay. Here's Joe Michael uh, making a second consecutive appearance in my vlog. Uh, I like to say it was a uh, interesting community where I was meeting different people, which a lot of people I thought were very nice, um, very helpful in a way where uh, when you're in need of help, they're just there for you. And if you need a hug, they give it to you right away and it's free. You know, people look up to each other. They, you know, give you uh, this compassionate feeling uh, to whatever you you're line. like right feeling you're Hopkins down Island. or however you're not having a good train of thought. Um, and, you know, uh, I just thought to myself, wow. Uh, the more people you know, the better understanding uh, you could learn from the way uh, you could uh, have like good friendship with them. You know? you know, meeting new people is always a great thing to do. It gives you a Turn better right social life. And I just thought today was just, uh, you know, it was a sad moment. 
it was a good time to meet with everyone uh, uh, you know know how they feel um, make sure if they're always in need uh, give them a pat on the back give them a hug you know yeah, love in is one six miles you know right on love is a powerful uh, very powerful thing to know of how you could control so that's all I have to say as very well said um, and uh, to end this vlog on a positive note um, all my vlogs have been monetized. This will not be monetized uh, for profit gain. Um, this is this was a vlog to spread awareness, to stop gun violence, stop hate crimes, and to stop terror attacks on cities that we are proud to be in um, and we have pride in. Um, innocent lives do not deserve um, to be taken away. Um, no matter how old they are. Uh, I would not wish this upon my worst victim. Um, and if anything, Pulse may have changed Orlando forever, um, but it had changed the city beautiful that I was so happy um, of moving to 12 years ago um, to be a, a part of, you know, this movement about love, uh, and I hope you all enjoyed this vlog, um, and I hope you share it, and you spread love, and again, you spread the awareness, um, because more love needs to be shown and felt around the world, um, to prevent these types of, or to hopefully prevent these types of tragedies from happening. Um, and if they do, um, Orlando will be there, uh, certainly, um, to spread love um, around uh, everywhere. Um, and it's also very, very important to spread love on social media because we do not see it enough on social media every day. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. This is Mr. Entertainment signing off with Joe Michael. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, give it a like or a comment. Um, and please be respectful of those victims. Um, I have seen a lot of uh, negative comments on YouTube of other people's videos um, from trolls. And there is no need for that. Uh, because love will always win over hate. Love is love is love is love is love is love is love. Stay entertained, guys.